Hi there, small item about the new orbitals. This is the old model. We had this nucleus and we got the electrons circling it like a planetary system and human beings like me often make this mistake uh, recognizing things and naming them and thinking they're the same but they're not the same because nowadays uh, mainstream science also realized electrons do not orbit like this they make small orbitals often circular uh, sometimes um, oval shaped right so this is the old model the new model um, so we get this new model and we can recognize this in star drive of course looking at a lithium this is star drive model of lithium it's made out of if you knew here out of these nucleons and you can fix a crystal uh, structure from these again if you're if this is your atom you cannot create a crystal structure from them you cannot this is not crystal structure this is so this is all this is new and you can see these spinning this is the electron sticking out a bit that's an electron it spins in and out creating a small circular or oval shaped track so that's because of its this is circular and when there's little space it might even be oval so it moves out here and then here it has to this little space it has to move in again so we're creating an oval shape so this new insight science has on these orbitals is exactly what star life tells you about orbitals small circular or oval tracks oval oh, you, you know my english is a bit messy but i hope you understand what i'm trying to explain um this is again a crystal structure like the one i've shown before but now every q-tip represents a nucleus when we also discovered that these little electrons act like a standing wave and as you can see the standing wave pop up too then the other pops up it's a standing wave it's like this when you use your fingertips it goes like this all the time now look again star drive this is the, the six shield six shield blue then the, the fifth is the yellow one the fourth is the red one if these are all circulating nucleons like these sometimes they pop in the next one pops out they are they, they uh, intermesh like cogs and uh, like your uh, recirculating ball steering gear um, they do not need to uh, touch each other directly they can also use the gravitons as balls and uh, therefore create a, a total movement a total wave on the outside of this atom as with uh, recircling steering gears without the bolts uh, they don't work but it doesn't need bolts all the time sometimes it needs them sometimes it don't it depends on the shape but again the outer shell moves in and out like the fingertips i just showed you a standing wave now there's a little problem with standing waves in science land it's um if you have a standing wave you don't have angular momentum but we know better now don't we of course we have a standing wave yes but we also have angular momentum because these tiny little things keep on spinning so you get both a standing wave and angular momentum and uh, well i guess that's it for now and bye bye till the next time